Hello everyone, I am Atheist Anime and today we're going to be doing a follow up on, not my last video, a video before that, on anime and we're going to be talking about one of my preferred animes, Dragon Ball Z. Now, I'm going to try not to waffle on for days about this because trust me, I could. There will most likely be more Dragon Ball Z related videos in the future, who knows, but I'm just going to give you a quick synopsis of why I like it, that kind of stuff, you know. So Dragon Ball Z, it's been, it's quite the popular anime. Um, it's very unlikely that if you're watching me talk about this, you've at least heard of this anime. It's probably one of the most popular westernized, well not westernized, western, it's one of the most popular anime in the western world. Yeah, it's one of the most popular. And there's good, there's good reasons for that. It's um. Well, I, I, can't really, I don't even really, I don't really know the reasons of why it's popular. Who knows why anything is ever popular? The memes, the damn Daniels, are, was popular at one point. Can't believe that was a thing, but that's for another time. I'm talking about Dragon Ball Z here, and uh, what is Dragon Ball Z for the people who've been living under a rock for the past twenty years? Uh, like I said, it's an anime about big muscly guys who beat the crap out of each other and scream their heads off while charging up power. Of course, it's more than that. The, you've got three well, three series that you should watch. There, there's four, but we don't really talk about that one. There's Dragon Ball, the initial series, focusing around the main character Goku and, and his buddies hunting in Dragon Balls and thwarting anyone else who'd use the Dragon Ball to evil intent, like wishing for immortality or conquering the world. Marsh, martial arts ensue, saving the world happens. Then we move on to Dragon Ball Z, where it's less focused on the Dragon Balls. They are there, but they're more just used as a plot device to bring back characters who die. Yeah, death isn't really that much of a consequence in this series. You'll learn to, to uh, you'll grow accustomed to that. And um, it's more focusing on Goku and his heritage as an alien. Because that's the whole time he's been an alien. A Saiyan, more specifically. And it's his adventures encountering Saiyans and these alien creatures and even some returning villains from Dragon Ball. And now this new currently running series at the time of this video, Dragon Ball Super and mixed feelings on Dragon Ball Super. I'll do, I'll do more specific and more focused videos on these individual series as well as the other one. You know, you have, those people who have watched it know what I'm talking about. But yeah, Dragon Ball is just, it's fun. It's over-the-top action. That's b the best way to explain it. You've got loads of guys flying through the air, firing blasts that can destroy planets. It's just over-the-top. It's fun. And the best part is that the, the characters never really call themselves heroes or anything like that. Yeah, they, they protect the Earth, but kind of just because they live there. They kind of need a place to live, and that's why they protect it. And usually because the people who they're fighting are kind of assholes. Looking at you, Freezer. <laughs> um, but yeah, it's it, there's not much else I can really say about the series as a whole, other than you go watch it. Go go watch it. If you haven't, I, I can't really recommend it as an in, as a starter anime because it's a very long anime. You'll soon find that bat battles can rage on for hours. Like, I think the, the longest one I've seen was about. Like, I'm pretty sure there's been a fight in there that's like two hours long. I mean, the entirety of the Freezer fight in the Namek Saga span... It's, like, it's an entire arc on its own. <laughs> and there's a lot of screaming, and a lot of powering up, and a lot of saying attack names and waiting like five minutes before actually go firing it. It's a lot of waiting, but it's got a lot of good payoff. Like, the most recent episode in Dragon Ball Super... It's it's amazing. It's, it's probably one of the best episodes of Dragon Ball ever, in my opinion. It's so good. The best episode of Dragon Ball Super so far. Again, not the most recent video in terms of the in, like, at the time of this video, of course. If you're watching this in like a year's time, Dragon Ball Super's probably finished. So last episode may be crap for all I know. So just remember, it's, I think it's episode 39, if I remember correctly? Yeah. Yeah, but uh, it's not, again, Dragon Ball isn't really a... Good intro anime just due to its length. I'll talk more in depth about animes that I think are good like, introductions to anime at a later point because we're talking about Dragon Ball here. Dragon Ball Z. <laughs> Awkwardness. 
Uh, but yeah, it's it's one of the shonen anime. It's it's a kind of cliche at this point, but at the time, even still, it's a very fun and awesome anime. It's it's if you love lots of non-stop constant action, you're gonna like Dragon Ball Z. And it's one of the reasons why I'm called Atheist Anime. I'll see you next time. Please like, comment, and subscribe, because subscribing just benefits both of us. Goodbye.